Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about the parts of a graph and every graph has TAILS and TAILS is an acronym that we're going to use to remember the parts of a graph. The T stands for the title, so every graph should have a title and just like the title of a book or the title of a story, the title is going to tell us what information we're going to get from the graph. The A stands for axis, so on each side of the graph, here we have the x-axis and the y-axis, so they show you that there's these parts of the graph on the top and the bottom, and that's going to also give us different information. So the labels and the information that are on the x-axis tell us about what's coming on horizontally on the bottom, and then the information that we get on the side will tell us about the y-axis going up, up, up. The I stands for increments. And the increments is also just going to be the scale that they use. So here you see the numbers are going up, I think, by about like two each time. So each little line is, goes up by two. Now, if I was measuring the number of people at our school, I probably would want to choose a larger increment because if we have, you know, over 100 kids in each grade, then we're going to be working with some bigger numbers. So I'd want to have a larger increment. So those increments are going to change depending on the numbers that we're working with in our graph. The labels, the L in tails, is really important because that gives us the information for what this graph is showing us. So here, where it says colors on one side and number of students, those labels are telling me that this graph is counting the number of kids who picked each color. And the S is for spaces, and the spaces are really important because if you see that in this bar graph there's space between each of the bars, that helps to break up the graph and kind of for my eye looking at all this information and taking it in, I want to make sure I have some space so I can read the information clearly. So the title of this graph here in this example we have students favorite colors so I know that when I look at the information I'm going to learn the students favorite colors. On the x-axis I have the colors down here at the bottom and on the y-axis on the side I have the number of students. It looks like the increment they chose was maybe about two so you know counting how many people were going to vote for each color and then I have the labels that give me the information on the graph and the spaces so it's nice and clear, it's all spaced out so I can read the information clearly. Each graph is going to try to give us information. It's easier to understand the information by seeing it in a graph than just reading it. So it's important that we include tails every time we make a graph so we're making it easy for the person who's seeing our graph to right away get that information. Because they're looking at this graph, I know right away this color in the middle was the most popular and this color over here on the end was the least popular because they have their graph nice and clear, they have their labels, and they have the increments that they need. So when you start to make your graphs, don't forget to use tails.